Hey guys, I am Wizarding World of Harry Potter YouTuber Phoenix Victoria McLean. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. What the freaking heck? <laughs> I do you know, I, I, I'm loving my hair, okay? I am loving my hair. Look at that colour. This isn't, a, this isn't edited in any way, right, the colour-wise. Look at that colour. Isn't that just crazy? If you want to know about what's going on with my hair, because it has changed colour again, then keep on watching. <laughs> if you would like me to bring some random stuff to you and then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all important notification bell as well let's get started <gasps> believe it or not today is about large fly bags um but i was doing my hair right because uh right i'll tell you what happened because you know i have um i have bleached hair obviously i wasn't a natural blonde my natural color is like an ash blondy brown but it's like a yucky dark brown and so obviously i was having my hair bleached on a regular basis to keep up with my roots now obviously all of this then is bleached hair so when the hairdresser put the very color red on that you saw the other day because i had had it colored that day um that was the color she put on but as i was warned after i wash it the color would fade quite a lot because my hair needs to build up that red anyway my hairdresser Lucy who is also sponsoring my channel thank you very much Lucy you are an amazing hairdresser um she suggested using oh my losh uh, right losh losh um there's these things called color balls and uh, it's conditioner it's just conditioner with a very very intense conditioning color in it um so you can get them for brown hair red hair blonde hair purple hair whatever color and what it is basically is it push it puts a, a vibrant color back into your hair in between salon visits and it's just conditioner so it doesn't ruin your hair so she suggested i get this vibrant red no word of a lie my bath looked like i'd murdered somebody okay it was red red it was like philosopher's stone red you know it was proper blood red and after the first time i did it um, I was very shocked because it wasn't the colour I, I had before and obviously this is going to happen. I mean I'm a, I'm a qualified hairdresser believe it or not so I should remember all of this stuff but that was like 17 years ago. So I did it again today with the conditioner because it is conditioner, it's not going to ruin my hair and I put it on and obviously you're waiting for the water to rinse clear and unfortunately because my hair is damaged it's not rinsing as clear as I'd like so I thought you know what I'll try it anyway. I dried my hair um, and it was better condition. You can see the shine in it now, which is coming back, which is so lovely. And then I did like, because I I'm, I love The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid is one of my favourite films and it just reminds me of Ariel. And so I did the crimping, the mermaid hair. Um, and look at how vibrant and fantastic that colour is. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. What a stunning, stunning colour. And so I love it. I absolutely love it. So much so that even though this is a Harry Potter channel, obviously Wizarding World of YouTube channel, um, I am wearing my Little Mermaid crew top from Monica 2020 to 2021 crew because Monica worked on it. So it's really lovely for me to be able to kiss Mermaid. Little Mermaid was one of my favourite films growing up. I love The Little Mermaid. So I'm incredibly excited for the new film with Halle Bailey. And uh, yeah, so she got me this top for Christmas, a beautiful Little Mermaid notebook and a Little Mermaid like tote bag, but it's like almost like a canvas bag with leather. Oh my God, it's stunning. And so I thought, do you know what? This is a perfect excuse to wear my Little Mermaid top. So I'm wearing my Little Mermaid top. <laughs> right, so loving this hair color, loving this hair color. How many YouTubers do you know have hair like this and backgrounds like this? I mean, come on now. You know, no wonder you guys want to watch this channel because I am just, on my own and in front of everyone i don't really care about anybody else and it's just a case of this is me if you don't like it find another channel so here i am yes all red and uh, gray with a beautiful 
Phoenix wand from Warner Brothers. How could I not have the Phoenix wand for today with my flaming red hair? I am a Weasley, but at the moment I'm a little bit Philosopher's Stone as well, so um, it is just a beautiful colour. This wand is stunning. Now I know that Geek Gear did a similar wand after this one was released. No, tell a lie, Geek Gear, you were first, I'm sure you were. But the, to be fair, this wand from Warner Brothers is beautiful. And Forks is such a stunning, stunning character. I'm looking at this wand, right, and I can't help but notice. I burnt my hand. Can you see, can, can I break in my wrist trying to show you? Look, I don't know if you can see it. I burnt my wrist, I burnt my hand there and it's swollen. It has been treated and everything. I, tr I burnt it on there, the hair thing is. But look at that, it's so worth it, I don't care. Anyway, what do I say? What do I say? I'm gonna put it back before I break it. Okay, so today, as I said, is all about lounge fly bags. Now, now. I gotta be honest with you, a few years ago, I'm looking around for my first one, there it is. A few years ago, I had no idea about lounge fly bags. I'd never heard of them ever until I had my very first lounge fly bag. That's my first lounge fly bag, my Ravenclaw lounge fly bag. Now anyway, how many times can I say lounge fly bag? Uh, so I ordered this from her universe, the same time as I ordered my Beau Batten costume. Um, I think it was reduced from like 40 something to 20 something and I bought it because it was such a beautiful colour and of course it's a Ravenclaw bag but I'd never heard of them um, well, it wasn't until it came home and I was using it for ages and Monica said oh my god mum is that a lounge fly bag <gasps> you've got a lounge fly bag I was like what's a lounge fly bag <laughs> no idea I just I felt like I was being looked at like an alien you know um, but I'd never heard of them so this was my very first bag and it is so beautiful i use this bag so much but now i don't i put it away and i keep it safe but I, I i use it all the time and there are one or two little tiny marks on it but as you can see it's still in beautiful condition this was my very first one so i'd never heard of them and then of course you know how beautiful they are. They do the most incredible, incredible bags. I'm looking at all of my bags in here. I'm gonna show you my latest one. Now this is because, I'm doing this video because I'm hoping someone will help. Um, anyway, I received a parcel last week. No return address, no label inside, no shipping label, just addressed to my home address not my PO box, my home address. And it was this Loungefly Hedwig bag. Now this is one of the newest ones, but isn't that stunning? But I still to this day don't know where it came from. I have no idea who sent it to me. I am completely and utterly flummoxed. It's not been out that long, I don't think. But how beautiful is that? I've messaged a few companies that I work with who I've had lounge fly bags sent to me in the past and they, they say it's not them. But what a lovely present. Um, the Enchanted Mystery said, it wasn't us, but you must have a secret admirer. I said, well, if they do, they've got brilliant taste. <laughs> so what a stunning, stunning bag. How beautiful is that? I have double, triple and quadruply checked for the label for like a return address or anything and there is nothing. There is no sign as to where it came from. Now I will show you, I'm showing you all my bags. I think one of the most expensive ones I have is the Quidditch one. This was sent to me from Enchanted Mysteries in the very first Enchanted Mysteries box I ever received. And this is a limited edition, 2024 convention limited edition, lounge flight exclusive Quidditch World Cup bag. How stunning is this bag? Look at the colors of it. Isn't it gorgeous? And I love the fact that the straps here say Quidditch World Cup. Now I have no idea where the, wooden, the, the strap's gone for that, it's fallen off. 
but it should I, I don't like taking the straps off them unless I really are am going to use them but that says Quidditch World Cup on the strap how stunning is that and then you have this Quidditch World Cup emblem underneath it as well so it is such a beautiful stunning stunning bag now I am a massive lounge fly collector I love the golden snitch there isn't that stunning on the zip and this is all embroidered it's all embroidered with stars of different colors all the way around how stunning is that so that's one of my most expensive bags now the bag i used a lot after the ravenclaw bag was this one now i have this gorgeous um hogwarts lounge fly bag now it's a little bit discolored on hedwig but you can't really tell she is velvet so maybe i don't know some sellotape or might be able to de-stick that it does come with a strap as well which is in here somewhere and it also comes with a matching purse now let me see if i can find the matching purse what i love about lounge fly is the quality of their products is just wonderful they're such stunning products that you can't help but love them because they are so well made you know they're going to last however now as I said I've had that first lounge fry bag for so long and the only thing with it is a couple of little stains on it which majority of the dirt that was on it I got rid of with a baby wipe now this bag obviously was this was sent to me from very Nico um, along with the matching purse as well or was that from truffle shuffle but this is a stunning stunning purse that matches and then on the back it's got Hogwarts written so proudly there and this obviously on the back has the Hogwarts stamp down there but isn't that beautiful this bag lasted me ages but on the side of here somewhere oh there it is on the side of here the stitching was coming undone just there just that little gap there compared to the other bits that are all sewn up but that little gap there was coming undone so I had to stop using it I was so worried that it would just continue to unravel so I did stop using it now obviously as I said this is the matching purse I think this is sent to me by truffle shuffle isn't that beautiful it's such a lovely lovely purse and it's it's quite wide as well compared to some of them in there so these are all still available as far as I'm aware so the matching rucksack for this is this one isn't that stunning now I think I had this from truffle shuffle no this was from very Nika. oh my god I can't remember I have I've only paid for like three lounge fly bags I think maybe four this isn't all of them I have got another one upstairs but that's frozen it's Elsa uh, but I forgot to bring it down uh, but this one is just beautiful I prefer the look of the rucksack the mini rucksack compared to the bag and I love that you have Hogwarts it's is it is it etched is it stitched no it's stamped but it's quite kind of inverted along there look at that isn't that stunning i love the colors of this bag it's so beautiful it's so fresh it's just so 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 lovely so that was the three items the three harry potter hogwarts bags that uh, from lounge five that i loved sorry the two items two bags and one purse oh my life i think i just need to stop um so i think one of the most unconventional bags i think i've ever received was the one bag that i had from very nico sent to me from very nico that I was actually chased through the photographic exhibition because people wanted to know where it was from. Now this bag is exclusive to Very Nico. I'm not 100% sure if it's still there. I think it is and it was on sale. So if I can find it, I will try and put the link down below for you. But this is a pin display bag. So what happens is you get your favorite pin badges and you display them on here, there's little holes. In, in on the fabric as you can see all the holes there so you've got a dementia one to start you off obviously you've got the Hogwarts castle and then you put your pins in there and then you close it up and it's like the front of a book and that's what I love about this bag is it is like a Hogwarts book look at that isn't that gorgeous it's so different and then obviously you've got the proper lounge fly label there as well but it is a very, very, very stunning bag. 
and I was quite shocked at how many people were chasing me to find out where it was from. I had it on my back and I was just people were just legging after me to find out where this bag was from. So it is from Very Nico. Uh, it is just a beautiful, beautiful pin display bag, but it is exclusive to Very Nico. A very Nico, I've got some fantastic exclusive items. So now this bag does have a matching mini rucksack, which was meant to be here today, but hasn't turned up. And that's just, grr. <laughs> But this bag was quite a shock because when I looked, when I saw it on the website on either very Nico, a Zavi or Truffle Shuffle, I can't remember which one it was, it looked quite big. And I thought, oh, that would be a lovely bag to replace the one that's damaged. When it arrived, it looked really lovely. Look at that. It looks very nice, doesn't it? It's a beautiful, beautiful patterned bag with a lovely metal gold metal like wax seal for hogwarts there and you've got all these lovely spells lovely spells going on and then as you turn it around you have the lounge light part of the back and it looks really pretty i bought the matching purse to match how stunning is this isn't that beautiful which i still use today and then i thought something's not wrong here i'm not right here Look at the size of the purse compared to the bag. I think I have showed you, haven't I, on my channel already, because I showed you the wonderful time of me trying to get into the bag. You ready? Are you ready? Should I, should I pull the camera down slightly? You ready, right? <sighs> in. Okay, let's get it out again, shall we? I've broken out into a sweat now. You caught my lovely pyjama bottoms then, didn't you? <laughs> Aren't they just so sexy? Uh, so as you can see my predicament, it was just ridiculous. This doesn't open wide at all. That is all it opens. So you can't, even though this is lovely and big, you can't open it enough to see what's inside. So I, after a while, I'm not even gonna try and put it back in. After a while, it was a case of, no, I can't deal with this anymore. I was shopping, it was Christmas Eve, um, and I was in town for getting a few last minute bits, and I literally just, I was struggling so much, I thought, no, I'm not dealing with this again. And then my savior came to my rescue in the form of Enchanted Mysteries. And uh, she gave me the most incredible gift of all. In my last Enchanted Mysteries unboxing, I had the newest Diagon Alley bag and purse. This is now my main bag. I don't use the purse, I do use the black um, purse I just showed you because I prefer my purse to be a little bit bigger. But I love that I have this stunning, stunning set. So Enchanted Mysteries saved my temper with my back and my purse trying to get it in. It was a freaking nightmare. But how beautiful are they? I love them so, so, so much. So these are now my, this is now my bag. And what I love, you know how I love my sparkle, right? This is all sequin down here. I love it so much. And then on the back, it's got these beautiful stars. Look at that, isn't that stunning? And all the sequins going around the bottom as well. I love that so much. And the matching purse is just stunning. Look at how beautiful that purse is. I love lounge fly so much. It's an addiction. It is seriously an addiction. It really is. So those are my my newest ones. Now I have a few more. In fact, I've got four to show you. Have I got four to show you? I think I've got four. Um, I've got quite a few, but I think I've got thirteen bags in total. But they're a kind of thing that you you struggle to stop collecting. But I like the fact that with bags, because I'm, this is what I wanted to talk to you about, right? Women, women love either bags or shoes. Tell me what that one down below are you? Are you a bag or are you a shoe person? Because I'm very much a bag person and I have been for years. I like shoes, 
but for me they're just practical. Adam is very much a shoe person. He collects Air Jordans and he loves his Air Jordans. And we have, on the stairs, we have loads of clear boxes and they are all filled with his beautiful Air Jordans. He had another pair sent, yes, no, last week, was it a black pair? Um, who was it that Pharrell Williams once designed them? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but he, he's a big shoe collector. And of course, I am a bag collector. So this one was one, this was one of the first ones I had from Enchanted Mysteries. How beautiful is this Hedwig bag? So I now have two Hedwig bags. I just, I just, just wow, you know, and I'm running out of room where to put them because I display them on my shelf, but I've had quite a few bags in the last two months. So I'm gonna have to move my shelves and put them further down having like, you know, because I've got Loungefly, Loungefly, Honey Dukes, Weasley, Weasley, Jewelry. It's going to have to be Loungefly, 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 Honey Dukes, Weasley, Weasley. And then my jewelry is going to have to go somewhere else. But I like the fact that my jewelry is there because I can get to it. Although actually, now that I've cleared my... <sighs> Did I say I've cleared my desk? Yeah. Uh, now that I've kind of made my desk a little bit more... I don't know. Uh, it's still a mess. Um, I, maybe I could put my jewellery box there. It's a big jewellery box. It's a big, big jewellery box. Um, but yeah, so I need to move stuff around so I can... I love displaying my lounge fly bags because they're so beautiful to look at. When I was a little bit younger, I would get a bag that would last me a couple of years. And I'd always really search for it. It would be like a... Um, I would do it over a couple of weeks and it would end up being, I don't know, maybe River Island or Harrods or something. It wasn't expensive. The most I'd ever spent on a bag was like 50, 60 pound. But they were plain. They were always plain until I got a gorgeous River Island one that was all different colour blues. And it was stunning. It was beautifully, it was just beautifully done. And I think that kind of sparked my initial obsession with the, the bags because if we had a lounge fly bag shop here I would spend all my waking hours in it whether it was um Harry Potter Disney uh DC Star Wars Marvel um oh my goodness I would be in it just looking because they're stories when you look at them they are stories I mean that one is a story you know this one for me is a story, but then we have bags like this one, which I really love, it matches my hair. This is such a beautiful bag because it is a howler bag, but it is a new lounge fly bag. So this bag is stunning, absolutely stunning. It's only small, so you wouldn't be able to use it, I think, for every day. So you've got a lovely like leather strap in there, but this bit's cool because it comes down to show you the uh, letter, the howler from Mrs. Weasley to Ronald. So how is that? Just that's just wicked. I love it. I mean, I've I've got I've got another howler bag which was a like a rucksack, and I can't remember where it is from, but it, it was a beautiful rucksack, and I used it all the time. But because I'm so I love my Harry Potter stuff so much that I do kind of retire something because I want it to stay safe i don't want to ruin it i don't want to wear it in because as you, as you know with harry potter stuff it does get discontinued quite fast and so i didn't want that to happen with my bags so i did put it to one side but this one is so beautifully made that i think it would really last it's such a stunning bag but it's not something i think you would want to use for everyday purposes but it is a beautiful bag this is one of harry's favorites this is the niffler bag i mean come on when i when i got this i think again this is from truffle shuffle i just squealed <laughs> because you know how much i love my nifflers so much they are just adorable and this bag is so soft and fluffy is the matching purse in here yes and you've got the lovely little matching purse as well which was my purse for so long but he stays in my bag my bag now 
but I love in this bag because you've got the gold inside that's just such a beautiful bag I love this bag and I think this one is just one of almost everybody's favorites because it's Luna Lovegood. I mean, look at it. Isn't it just so, so colourful? It's so Luna. And I think Lounge Fly did a wonderful job of representing one of the most favourable characters in Harry Potter. I mean, with her spectrospect glasses on the top and the pattern from, from Half-Blood Prince that she wears. I mean, it's just so stunning. Now, this key ring doesn't come with this bag. But I did put it on because I just thought it suited it so well, you know. But it is such a stunning, stunning looking bag. I'm not sure if these are still available though. So I'm really sorry if they're no longer out there. But how stunning is this? Let's have a look inside. Lots of packaging. I, I very rarely use this bag. And then we can just about see like a stripey pattern inside there. But this bag is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I tell you what I am after now is they did release last year for a for no no sorry in the New York store they were selling I don't know if they still do the Yule Ball Loungefly bag. So I would absolutely love to try and get hold of that bag. But this is just to die for this bag. It's such a beautiful beautiful colour. The one thing I wish that Loungefly did is maybe a Bow Batten themed bag because I just think that, or Durmstrung even, but I'd love to have that because they have done a Weasley Wizard Wheeze one, they've done a Yule Ball one, they've done a Diagon Alley, they've done all of those, but I would love it if they did a, a Bow Batten bag, that or a uh, mini rucksack, that would be incredible. So I do love my Loungefly bags. So that is all of my Loungefly Harry Potter bags. Uh, what did you think of these bags? Which one was your favourite? Can you pick one? I don't know if I can. Mine changes. I think my favourite bag at the moment is the one I'm currently using because it was such a huge shock to get that in that box. I didn't know what to think when I received it. But I absolutely love my lounge fly bags and I can't wait to add to my collection. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favourite. Do you have any bags? Until next time, take care. I love you all and I will speak to you very, very soon. content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe